Thanks for the roses, Chad. You eat greasy food? Yeah, I love greasy food. I don't know if this actually counts as greasy, but like bacon and eggs. I eat bacon and eggs almost every day. That's greasy. I'll make it with a lot of butter. I heard tilapia is a bad fish to eat because they're just super farmed and they eat like, I've just heard bad stuff about tilapia, but I used to, I used to have some of it. I think I can just Google Detroit style pizza versus Chicago. I'm sure there's lots of stuff that will come out. Do some fast hula hooping, please. I mean, yeah, if I'm gonna stand here with hula hoop, I better be actually be able to hula hoop. Best way to make bacon is in the oven. Really? I use an air fryer. Well, I was drinking water and then it like hit my stomach, made me sound good. Some fast hula hooping. Thank you for the fire and the roses. See, we can take it around. So adorable, a ton of guys or girls approach you. I honestly don't leave my house too much or venture too far, so no. You love the top? Thank you. Well, I could keep going, but I just had a bunch of water. It's hitting my stomach. Thank you for the rose. How's that for hula hooping? I forget who asked, but I did it. Bicep flex, okay, so I used to get asked bicep flex and then I would do it because it looks like I would be have strong arms so I would understand that someone might be curious and then I heard that it's like K-I-N-K and then I, now I just feel weird and don't do it anymore. Yes, do that, Google it. Okay, Detroit versus Chicago. I can't believe I've never heard of it before. Detroit. A Chicago, a Chicago style slice is built upon a flaky, thin, deep crust similar to a traditional pie. On the other hand, Detroit style pizza relies on a thick and fluffy crust reminiscent of focaccia. Detroit style crust stands out among other crusts thanks to its airier texture and cheesy, crisp underside. Ooh, Detroit's looking pretty good. Detroit's looking pretty good. I think I'd be into Detroit. I think I'd be into both. Although Detroit's looking a little bit like a pizza bread. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I agree. Google it, deep dish is overrated, I prefer Detroit style. Good morning. It's good evening for me, but good morning to you. Do you have a job? I'm a student. Buffalo pizza? You mean like the type, or that is that like a whole other style? Speaking Spanish? No habla español. Habla un poco español. I want both pieces. Would you rather have the ability to pause or rewind? I'd say only pause because then you can think about your next move and maybe make a better choice for yourself. But being able to rewind, I think that would also be a bit of a curse because then you can just always keep going back and then thinking that you redo it and you'll never move forward too much. I think that makes sense. Or just thank you. What's your major? My major is philosophy, minor in economics, and I'm thinking I should, should switch. It's a, special, it's a specialty pizza, buffalo pizza and barbecue pizza. Oh yeah, I know those. Yeah, that does make sense. Then you can just keep going, yeah. But sometimes I speak too quickly or make a decision too quickly and then, yeah, so pause. You know when you're in Detroit, we'll grab some za. Switch to housewife. Yeah, just wipey. Deep dish in a cast iron. In a cast iron comes out really good. Tortillas also make great thin pizza and cast iron. I believe that. Economists understand money, but they never had it. Is that true? Can you speak any other languages? 
Uh, no, no habla espanol, just like I know just a little, little bit. And I think I actually know more French than Spanish. And they're all pretty similar, so I think those three help each other. Or English and Spanish and French go together. Sensual accent. I mean, I don't think it's very good at all, but... I can say yo soy alta, yo soy rubia. Um, in the morning, I'm forgetting how to say morning. In the morning, I like cafe negro, or sometimes cafe con leche entrada, right? Are your abs still red? I think so. I think so. Speaking of languages, what's your love language? Probably words of affirmation. Probably words of affirmation. I feel like I used to be pretty insecure about stuff. So, probably words of affirmation. I don't know. They're all pretty legit. Everyone's balance. Honestly, all the pizza talk and pictures made me hungry and I think I'm gonna go microwave one of my microwave meals. But it's the weekend or I could order food. No, I have microwave meals in the fridge. Words mean a lot. Yeah, and I think I like writing. So words just, I don't know, I'm a words person. Where are you studying? I'm studying in California. And I siblings, I have two half siblings. Thank you. Microwave meals aren't bad. I found like a really good brand and they're delicious.